All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. It's an ML Sports Take, and it's all brought to you by Elevate Fitness of Syracuse, Sit Means Sit Syracuse, and our good friends over at Welch & Company Jewelers. Log on to welchjewelers.com. Also want to throw a tip of the cap. Thank you to the Swan and Whitaker families and our good, good, good pals over at Bryant & Stratton College of Syracuse. Congratulations to the women's team winning a national championship earlier today. Terrific stuff. Bryant & Stratton College of Syracuse, the official college of the ML Sports platter. Let's recap the Bills and the Jets. This was, I think, really what the doctor ordered for the Bills. You know, you think about last week and that horrific loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Bills did gain some ground in certain spots of the AFC, but then you have the Patriots up on their tails beating the Browns. KC and the Raiders playing as I record this. Um, your rooting interest there is for KC, believe it or not, because if they win, the Bills have the tie break. The Titans got it done against New Orleans. So the Bills picked up a little bit here and lost a little bit there. How about that Lions-Steelers game today? ending in a freaking draw. Absolutely unbelievable, just like this audio playing for no reason. Let's recap the Bills-Jets game today. And really this game, I don't think this game was really in doubt, um, you know, from, from the beginning. I know things got a little dicey if you're a Bills fan, a little dicey uh, when it was still only 10-0 uh, there. Um, you know, it, it, it felt like, oh my God, we're only up a touchdown to the Jets after the, um, uh, the, the Amendola field goal there <clears throat> in the uh, second quarter, uh, late, but then the bills with just a tremendous five play 75 yard, uh, uh, stretch drive there. Diggs catches the 12 yarder from Allen. The first one was no good. The second one, they went right back to him, obviously. And I thought it was a sweeter catch kind of over the top a little bit more. Uh, the other one had, you know, Diggs's foot going out of bounds. So that made it um, that made it seventeen to three. And then the Bills from there they just rolled. I mean McKenzie with the with with the tricky Bills jet sweep run he gets it. Matt Breida runs it. Uh, obviously the first touchdown pass of the day was from Allen to Breida, and so uh, Matt Breida making his presence finally felt and known here in this offense. Uh, Zach Moss runs it in for a yard. And the route was on 38-3. Uh, the Bills added one with Devin Singletary, obviously. And then the Jets got a touchdown in garbage time at the end. But this was just a, a complete and utter domination. A really, really good team beating a really, really bad team. I mean, that's what happened. And that's exactly what the Bills needed today. Um, I thought that the Bills did a really nice job you know, complementing the pass with the run. I'm not one of these people who needs tons more running. I just need a little bit of it. I need a little bit of that balance. Look at how Josh Allen was active and mobile off of the play action today. Quite a bit of time in the pocket. You give any quarterback all the time, Bart Starr, Unitas, Aikman, Young, Favre, Montana, Brady, Breeze, the Manning brothers, etc. You give any quarterback, Mahomes, you give any quarterback in the history of the game a clean pocket, they're going to do some damage. There's been no uh, uh, quarterback in the Hall of Fame who's had a bad offensive line. And I think today the key for Josh Allen was getting Spencer Brown back. I mean, I can't really emphasize enough how unbelievable this guy has been. And he is literally the anchor of the offensive line. This was still a line without John Feliciano today. And they played pretty well all game long, I thought. A couple gaps here and there, but for the most part, they were fantastic. Spencer Brown, the reason for that, because he puts everybody back in a natural position. You have Deion Dawkins on the left side of the tackle uh, area uh, on the blind side, but the key is on the right side of Mitch Morris at center, Deion uh, or uh, uh, Darrell Williams at right guard, and then right tackle Spencer Brown. If that's the right side, it's a lot different than Darrell Williams having to play on the outside. The Bills had 139 yards rushing today. Uh, I thought that the, the the Josh Allen was terrific in this game, uh, as was the offensive line. He was super efficient. I know he had the one pick, but he was 21 of 28 for 366 and an 125.6 rating with a QBR of 85.2. Uh, pretty good day for Josh Allen. And, you know, uh, obviously heard um, on the telecast, you know, man, I feel like going to Stephon Diggs could happen every single time. Well, I've been saying that for over a year. Today, Stephon Diggs really torched the New York Jets. Eight catches, 162 and a touchdown. Gabe Davis, three and 105, had that really cool, you know, sort of uh, uh, tip tip catch. Uh, Matt Breida got in it, three for 22, three, uh, two for 27 for Emmanuel Sanders. Made a hell of a catch, by the way, uh, up on that right side. Um, Dawson Knox, one of 17. Cole Beasley, two for 15, not really involved there. Isaiah McKenzie, one for 12, and then Devin Singletary, one Four, six. How about the Bills defense today? I had I was begging for 
the Bills to bring the house today. And boy, bring the house they did. They picked off Mike White four times. So I guess Mike White's not going straight to the Hall of Fame just yet. Um, but everybody was just absolutely absurd. Picking the ball off left and right, blitzing left and right. Levi Wallace, Taron Johnson, Jordan Poyer, Trey White all got one interception each. And then you had just guys really in position, I thought, all day long. And guys blitzing at the right times. Poyer, a monster. Ten total tackles, four of which were solo. Um, the, you know, the Bills had uh, a sack today from F.A. Obata, which was outstanding. Matt Milano was all over the field. A.J. Klein in for Tremaine Edmonds. He's not typically a great coverage guy. He's really good against the run. Really should have had an interception early in the game. He dropped that ball. But... I thought he was pretty good in coverage today. I think he really controlled the middle of the field pretty, pretty well. Taron Johnson just continues to be one of the great stories for the Bills. He was fantastic in every uh, facet of the game. Uh, Harrison Phillips got in there a little bit. He was pushing around the Jets' offensive line. So the Bills' defense blitzed. They got after it. They won. They got interceptions. The offense looked good. The line was back. Uh, almost all the way, uh, still needing Feliciano. And now you have really, I, I think, a huge game uh, next week against the Indianapolis Colts, a team that today they were on the ropes with the Jacksonville Jaguars for a good chunk there, but they hung on. They get back to 500. That's a hot football team as well. Now you have a situation where the Colts are 5-5. Five and five. Now it's a road game into Buffalo. This is a big deal. This is a huge game. I mean, the Bills, if you don't lose to Jacksonville, you're 7-2 and two right now. The chance to go 8-2 and two before Turkey Day at New Orleans in the primetime slot at night. But still okay 6 and 3 but you got to win again this weekend there's no other way to say it the bills have to keep winning keep winning keep winning tampa bay a little bit vulnerable maybe after today's loss to the to the football team uh and boy oh boy we all know the date that's looming huh monday december 6th bill belichick and the patriots coming into buffalo for Monday Night Football. I mean, that is that game is huge now. New England crushed Cleveland today. And remember when uh, Tom Brady won a Super Bowl? And remember when the Patriots went 7-9 and nine last year and all of a sudden everybody thought Bill Belichick couldn't coach? Right. New England, uh, I picked to make the playoffs this year, and they're showing uh, me the way. And in, in, in that I was right, possibly, in that prediction. Big win. Nice win for the Bills today. 45-17. ML Sports Take here is brought to you by our great friends over at Stanley Law Offices, Liverpool Physical Therapy, the Syracuse Fitness Store, and our terrific pals at CNY Electrical. If you're in and around Central New York, go to cnyelectrical.com. Home and, and commercial. They've got their residential and their commercial uh, electrical needs just waiting for you. CNYelectrical.com. Hit me on Twitter at Mike L Sports. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.